I guess the snow came back in full force today. Raining yesterday pretty hard, getting rid of a lot of the snow, but it's coming back. I think this is the most I've seen in quite a while, actually, in all these years. And I guess to start off, one of you here actually wrote, says, Hi, Alan. Thanks for your daily video, especially this one on my birthday today. Well, happy birthday, Robert Jung. I was trying to think. You reacted to one squirrel before, so maybe I'll show that clip here. I guess a squirrel says happy birthday. Oh, this one. I remember you specifically commenting on this one. So hopefully that adds some cheer to the birthday. I know there's a delay in the video, but happy belated birthday, I guess. And what's going on today? I was reading this, which is kind of interesting. Apparently there's proposals to have, I guess, cross-border drones flying between Canada and the US. This one says, Governor Whitner announces air mobility corridor development in Michigan and Ontario. So as it says here, first of its kind aerial mobility corridor study will test the feasibility of commercial drones and other aerial systems in three areas, including cross-border. So with Michigan and Ontario cooperating, it says it will explore whether small drones can be flown beyond the line of sight of a pilot and be used in operations like just-in-time delivery, medical transport, or other small-scale deployment of UAS. The information gathered from this feasibility study will be used to further decision-making in preparing for the future of advanced air mobility in North America. Another critical piece of information that will determine if and how to proceed is the team's education and engagement with the communities surrounding the areas where the feasibility study is done. So this will be interesting if everything actually pans out and all that. Can you imagine that happening pretty quickly in terms of drones flying across the border? Funny enough, I know there's an area here where people literally sit on one side of the border, like one side's Canada, the other side's US, and people talk to each other like neighbors, but they're from completely obviously different countries. Although with the part about feasibility, I would imagine part of it in terms of talking to community members would be whether or not people are afraid of it in general, or possibly they would complain about things like the noise because I know in some countries where drone delivery and stuff is a regular thing, that's what some people complain, that it's too loud, whereas some say it's better for convenience. So I guess that will be up for debate. And in terms of the weather here, it's been snowing a lot and yesterday it was really windy. Apparently around the area it's created things like, I guess, flooding and stuff, destroyed various infrastructure, it's kind of crazy. Just for contrast, it's raining here. The thing is still here. Yep, these don't follow traffic lights and stuff here.
Hey, see you guys later.